Namaskaram Welcome to The Art of Prithangam Accompaniment Episode 1 I have decided to do some episodes particularly for my disciples to teach them how to accompany Murdangam for Varnam Kriti Swarajiti Naraval Swaram, low speed and high speed, Pillanas and Ragandanam Pallavi. The art of accompanying Murdangam depends on the school from where you have learnt. I learned from Sri K. Sadarshnachari Garu, the first Guru in Kolanka Sampradayam. Then I learned from Dr. Ella Vengreshra Garu, Ella Somanna and Palgat Maniyayar Sampradayam. Then I learned the tricks from Sri P.S. Parameshwaran Garu, who is direct disciple of Palgat Mani Ayer. Means, I have created my own way of accompanying Murdangam in the concerts by taking the best from these three schools and I have created my own flavor. Everybody has got their own idea to accompany for the songs, depends on their school, their knowledge, their experience, their maturity. And I am not talking about others, other Murdangam artists. This is particularly for my disciples who learn Murdangam from me by following my school. One has to become a master in chess playing or anything, he has to follow the moves of the master so that he will become a master. In the same way, I have learned from the masters and those masters what they have already created, we are following because we cannot create. Something is already there, we are adopting it which is already created by the masters and we are adding some flavors with our knowledge and experience with the permutations and combinations to implement our knowledge. In these episodes, I will be taking a song sung by different artists and I will explain, I will demonstrate 
how to accompany for Pallavi, Anupallavi and Charanam with my experience because ultimately the concert should be successful. So I am going to explain how to make the concert successful that is the idea behind doing these episodes but i am not telling you that you have to strictly follow what i am teaching you can deviate you can have your own knowledge experience and put it in a different way but the tradition you have to follow we should not deviate from the tradition that is what the pattern is already fixed by the masters the format is already fixed by the masters so i am going to tell you how to play a company beautifully without deviating from the patterns and the format so with my experience there are 15 techniques which everybody should follow called pancha desi i say and number one as imrudangam artist our role is to support the main artist in playing murdangam means number one be supportive to the main artist number two inspiring when you accompany the way you play should inspire the main artist so that he will come out with new ideas and uh, both will be enjoying the concert. It should be inspiring. Number three, it should be encouraging the main artist and vice versa. And fourth one, we are supposed to add emotion to the song based on the bhava of the song. So, add emotions to the songs. Fifth one, maintain the balance or the rhythm. Because the main artist is going to follow the rhythm of the Murdangam artist. And both should be moving together in a proper rhythm. And we should not go fast or drag go slow both are very bad next one the controlling the sound so the left and right particularly when you are putting the mics and when you are pulling the mridangam the left and right should be properly controlled and you have to accompany Next one, you need to have aesthetics. You have to follow and uh, you have to anticipate what the main artists, particularly in Swaras, what they are going to sing that comes through experience. Next one, we have to give the pause wherever is required when the Artist is giving importance to, importance to the bhava. So there we are not supposed to disturb by playing complex patterns. Add intensity wherever is required based on the bhava of the song. Next add the beauty to the song by giving beautiful nada with the gumiki elevate elevate the song elevate the concept with the aesthetics and the beauty with the proper gamaka and nada 
Next one, very important. Murdangam artists should never dominate the main artists. So never dominate. Make them comfortable. That means the main artist should be comfortable when you are accompanying them so that they can sing with extempo. While accompanying the songs, do not add complex patterns and disturb the main artist. Opt to the song and be with them, travel with them and make a collective journey with the main artist. Both the main artist and you should be enjoying the concert while accompanying. And the last one, be soft wherever, whenever it is required or necessary. These are all the 15 points. Mrithangam artist should know when they are accompanying for the main artist, maybe vocal, maybe violin, flute, clarinet, veena, whatever it may be. Oh, 
Preparing for the concert. Murdangam artists should know in advance what is the pitch of the main artist. Then accordingly prepare the left and right of the Murdangam. Properly tune it. And it should be ready so that only fine tuning should be done in the concert. Every concert is like Yajna, Homa. Means you have to be so serious for every concert. So what I say, every concert you have to create uh, some new Korvais or new Muktais, Mugimpus, ending part and come out with some new Mugimpus for every concert and make it something different so that you will also enjoy playing otherwise it will be monotonous. For every concert, the Mridangam artist should plan the Thani, it should be different for every concert and be ready with the minimum four talas and in the Taniya Vartanam you have to play only one Gati elaborately with the complex patterns to show the skill, power, knowledge, everything in the Taniya Vartanam. And the last one, we have to be peaceful fresh and reach the place on time and just relax so that this adds something to your concert. So these are all the beautiful points we have to understand before playing the concert. In the next episode, I am going to demonstrate 
how to play for varnam i will play the audio clip and uh, i will accompany for that audio clip to demonstrate how to play beautifully for the varnam then the krutis then our uh, naraval how to play saras how to play tillanas how to play ragantanam pallavi how to play how to calculate in advance even we do not know what pallavi they are going to sing on the stage we may come to know so at that time how to prepare all these beautiful things i am going to demonstrate once again i am telling if anybody is interested they can follow these episodes but this is strictly done for my disciples i am doing this for my disciples i am not telling everybody to follow the way i am accompanying everybody has got their own skill their own tradition their own knowledge their own experience their own emotion their own ego accordingly they will be accompanying the songs so this is meant for my disciples as part of my classes thank you very much